Hey, I'm Andy Wood, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a modern orange and teal effect for your images. Right. Hey there, I'm Andy Wood, and before we get started, I'd just like to invite you to head over to imagepunk.com and grab yourself some free presets and tutorials. And just to say that if you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Cheers. Right, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the develop module and the first thing we're going to do is just set the image up as you would, I guess, any basic editing. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the whites. I'm going to hold down option and just tweak the whites. You see the image goes black. Just bring it back up until we can see just a few patches appear. And then we'll do the same for the black. You see it goes the opposite way around. It goes white and then we just bring it back down until some of some patches appear. The next step is we'll just go to the tone curve and just set up a classic um, S curve. So hover the mouse over the line and just click once and a dot appears, once in the middle and once around about there. Now the first thing to do is to bring down the highlights, we just hover until we get that um, bar and just bring it down just a touch. And with the shadows we're just going to lift those and there we go. And lift that up a little bit bring that down a little bit and bring that down a little bit and I think that looks quite good so the next step is we add the orange and teal effect and we do this in the calibration now orange as you can imagine is um, influenced by the red so we take the red all the way to the right and to get the teal which is a, a shade of blue we take the hue all the way down. You can see the effect immediately. Very orangey. We just tone that down, we take the saturation of both of these down some ways. Just so it's a little bit more delicate. And it really is as easy as that. Now obviously you can fine tune. So if we go into um, the um, HSL we can go to the hue we can play with some of the other colors in there the blues in a headband we can tweak up a little bit and same for the saturation um, we can saturate the blue a little bit more just to accentuate it and for this image it's as easy as that now let's try a different image something like this one so again, we head off into the basics, go to the whites, hold down the option, and just give it a tweak till some of the dots start to appear. And same for the blacks in the reverse. And we will go to the tone curve and add an adjustment. Try and bring the S curve effect And for those of you that don't know, this S curve is just something that resembles, very loosely, a letter S. And then off to create the orange and teal, we set the hue of the red right up, bring the saturation down, set the hue of the blue right down, and let the saturation follow it. And we'll do before and after. And you can see it's quite an effect. Now, as I said before, we can we can tweak things a little bit. So we can, for example, tweak the blues in there a little bit and bring up the blues a little bit more. Play with play with the colours basically to get something that your eye likes. And another adjustment that we can do is if for example we are not keen on this area we want to 
for example bring that down if we just pick up the brush which is the tool there and we can just tweak the temperature down for example and then paint on that area you can see it makes a slight adjustment to that you can fine tune a very specific area let me just do something quite extreme so that you can see that let's try that let's see what that does and um, let's pick another area we will um, desaturate this chap's face there you go you can see that much clearer now why you'd want to do that I'm not sure but you can see the effect so we can play with it and you can see where I've desaturated those two areas we can fine tune so basically that's it so the the um, system is um, go to the basic adjustments alter the whites and blacks next go to the tone curve and create an S curve and then go to the calibration create the orange and teal so move the red primary all the way up to the right and bring the saturation down and use the blue primary by bringing that and the add the teal by bringing the blue primary all the way down on the hue and tweak the saturation down and it if you need to you can fine tune using the hsl for the hue saturation and luminance and you can control very specific areas by using a brush and making some um, fundamental um, changes to very specific areas on the image and it really is as easy as that have fun cheers